Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. It's building time today because I've got a Lego friend set which needs to be built. So building time it is. So this one is Stephanie's buggy and trailer. So obviously it's going to have Stephanie in it. It's going to have a buggy. It's going to have a trailer and probably other things too. <laughs> so let's see how many bags we've got in here. We've got two bags. We've got a little sheet of stickers. Got our instruction book. So we have everything we need. So let's check out what Stephanie is wearing because I think that this is a top that is exclusive to the set at this stage. I really don't think I've seen this top before. It's very cute. It's like a little, it's like a netball bib kind of. Is it, I suppose it's her soccer shirt. And she's joined by Dash the dog. The, why, is she, why is she wearing her soccer shirt out in the forest, in the woods? That, that makes no sense to me. Maybe she just really, really likes it. Anyway, she's falling over a lot and we've got a stick here, but we're supposed to put a marshmallow on it. We're not supposed to actually use it for <laughs> throwing so that Dash can actually chase it. But you can do with it whatever you want. You don't have to put a marshmallow on it. You can use it for a stick for Dash to chase if you want. But I've put a marshmallow on it and now she's throwing it for Dash. Let's not do that because that would make the marshmallow inedible and crunchy with dirt and that would be revolting. So but not, not do that again. I like marshmallows. <laughs> okay, let me see. We've got our very first sticker, which has got a wood print on it. So that's going in the water. The wood's going in the water. And now we've got some green going on here. So it's it's like another little jetty kind of whatever it is there's a little bit of greenland overlooking some water i don't think this is a seaside set i think this is a forest set so she's got a couple of little seats here with a pink plaid pattern on it and that's so pretty so they can be over here and dash can sit in the middle there nice and comfortably and we can put another sticker on here because that's what the instructions say to do I'm good at following instructions and doing as I'm told. So there's two little steps there and Dash had to move because this is actually a fireplace so he can't sit there and <laughs> there's a frog in the water and we need some greenery to, to just make it nice and pretty. Greenery and some pinkery. So we've got some green leaves and some pink flowers and a really tall flagpole. But it's not for a flag, it is for a rope. A rope with an orange thing on it. I don't know what that's for. Is it like a fishing? No, that's the weirdest looking fishing rod ever. I'm sure that it will become clear to us as we keep going. But we're finished with this section for now. We will come back to it later when I discover what that rope thing is for. Currently, we need to concentrate on building the buggy. Now, a buggy. What is a buggy? Like, all I can think of is a horse and buggy. It's such a strange word, buggy. Try saying buggy. 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 <laughs> I don't know. I think I need to go and have a nap because I'm losing my mind. Why does the word buggy feel so weird? Buggy. Buggy. Right. Okay. So we're building the buggy, which is actually just a car. Uh, yeah. And uh, we've got some, we've got another sticker to put on here on this rounded over piece. Oh, goodness. I wonder if I can focus for the rest of this build. And it's got a surfboard picture on it. So she's been busy putting all sorts of stickers on her buggy buggy and she's got a nice place to sit now as does dash he can sit next to her in the passenger seat of the buggy are we saying buggy <gasps> let's count how many times they say buggy buggy <laughs> it's, oh no all right the front of this car -y kind of thing this small car buggy thing has got oh, we got these interesting little round things which are going to be Oh, they're going to hold the headlights. And this sticker here has got her star insignia on it. So that's her symbol. And these, I knew they were to hold the headlights. So these are going to get, well, headlights in a moment. In the meantime, she actually needs a number plate, which does not say buggy. It says spurry girl, spurry girl. Because apparently she couldn't buy any vowels. <laughs> they were too expensive for her number plate. So it's just spurry girl. Hmm. Okay. Oh, what we need now, that's going to be the tow bar. That little bull, bull jointy thing there is going to be the tow bar because we have a trailer for this and I know that because it says it in the title. And she's got a steering wheel, so hopefully she's going to help her out with the steering, but she can't actually reach it. <laughs> oh no, this is all going very well. Blue windscreen and we're doing very, very well now. She just needs some really funky wheels with some yellow internal things. What is the inside of the wheel bit called? I suppose it might be called the wheel and the rubbery bit's called the tire. Is that right? I actually don't know. I don't know. Anyway, her buggy is completed and now she can bug here and there and everywhere. We've got this extra piece of string 
And we've got an extra marshmallow, so we can have one for Dash. And there's extra fire there too. So lots of little cute extras. We're up to bag number two. So we've already built the buggy. Mm, the buggy. Now we get to build the trailer, which appears to be square. It's a square trailer. That makes my sense of symmetry very happy. And it's being... The colour scheme here is 100% Stephanie's colors with the light pink, the light blue, and the dark blue and the yellow. And this sticker, I like this sticker. It's like a postcard kind of sticker, except it needs to be centered. So there we go. So that's just being, she's definitely, she got a bit mad with the stickers on her little buggy and trailer here. But that's okay. It's her buggy and trailer. It says Froggy Girl, so it definitely belongs to her. Now these little hingy parts here are going to be... Oh, that's cool. Okay, so they're going to be... Oh, hold on. It must have some smooth bits to go on here. Yes. Some smooth bits. Bright, bright yellow. That's a very nice little hinged box there. <laughs> Dash can hang out in there. Doesn't have to be a trailer. That's the cutest little box. I don't think he should be in there. Though. But there are lots of things we can put in here, like a life vest and and a helmet. Wow, she's equipped with all the accessories she's going to need to go out in the woods and a bone. That's for da oh Dash. Come on, no <laughs> Dash is staying in there because that's where the bone is. And a water bottle because always important to take water with you if you are heading out anywhere. And a tennis racket. She just knocked Dash in there. The tennis racket is for this. It's a one of those bull on a rope games, which is one of the most fun things you can do when you head out into the woods with your dog. Let's take a tennis ball on a rope. I suppose it means that if Dash doesn't bring it back, well, it doesn't go very far, so we don't have to worry about Dash not bringing it back and getting lost. <laughs> I'm not very focused today, am I? <laughs> I need to concentrate on what I'm actually doing. So I really do like this trailer a lot. Underneath the trailer, for some reason, we're getting this hinged piece. What's that function, I wonder? So, oh, okay, I think I know, but I'm going to put this together and then see. So this is the wheels. So the little, okay, okay, cool. So the hinged piece down the bottom is going to be so that you can actually pop it up so that it is the same height as the wheels. And you can put it down when you're actually, when it's actually connected to the buggy and you're driving. And on the top, we're getting oh, some yellow pieces and some claws for extra storage. This trailer is super awesome. It's making me very happy with all its storage capacity because there's a place up there to put a bike. She can take her whole bike in here and that's why we have the helmet so that she can go out in the woods and she can go riding. She play with the tennis ball on a rope. <laughs> She's got a helmet. She's so super equipped. So this goes up here. That's that's fantastic. That's really cool. What goes on the clips? A surfboard. Ah, okay. I don't know that there's going to be... Maybe she's not out in the woods. Maybe she is at the beach because I don't know that it'd be very useful having a surfboard out in just a creek. Oh, she... oh no. Hold on. I stand corrected. She could kind of go... No. She probably couldn't go whitewater rafting. She'd need a canoey kind of thing for that. But the life vest, whatever she's doing, is imperative so that she is safe in the water. <laughs> so it's up to you. This can be a beach scene if you want. You can do whatever you want with this. And that other clip... I don't know what that clip's for. Let's put her life vest away again so everything is super stored. It's for the oar for her little... for her little surfboard. Okay, so everything is now packed and ready in the trailer, which is attached to the buggy, and Dash is attached to the bike, and they are ready to go out and adventure. Can do, I've got, there are so many ways that you can play with this, including with your tennis ball on a string. But it's really cute, and I think my favorite part of this build, and I know my favorite part of this build, is the trailer. What about yours? Did you have something particular? at this build that you really liked or found interesting let me know in the comments because the build's finished that's it it's done i need to stop rambling because it's time to go so make sure you subscribe make sure you leave me a like and leave me a comment and i will be back with a new video very very soon so i will see you then bye